Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare. Um, so yep, for this video, we're going to be talking about makeup, color makeup, lipstick in specific, my favorite topic, sunscreens and lipsticks. Those are like my absolute absolute uh, favorite things to, to talk about and do videos on if you're in the market for sunscreen i recently did a sunscreen review video from super goop and i am in love i will leave the link down below or better i leave a sunscreen playlist link down below if you're in the market you can take a look at all the sunscreens that i've reviewed especially physical sunscreens and yeah uh, today we're going to be talking about a brand new uh, lipstick from Hourglass. The last one I got from Hourglass, I was not happy. It was a rant, basically. I just think uh, the packaging was just like, it was a non-retractable lipstick and I just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, I hated it. The lipstick itself was actually for melting in chunks on the lips as I was applying and the formula the packaging everything was just a no big no for me but so yeah i thought let's give another chance because the very first lipstick that looked like a like a very 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 it was this big i think what 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 are those called i forget those formulas were really good breaks very sleek very cute like very 007 like very mysterious not sure you wouldn't think it's a lipstick at all but anyways um so i do like hourglass as a brand but that uh, that non-retractable lipstick was just a no absolute no i was i was furious to be honest so anyways i went ahead and got this one this is called the unlocked satin creme lipstick so no fancy names or anything like that i believe a lot of their products start with unlocked their face palettes and all those things so this also is in that unlocked line and this is just called the satin creme lipstick so it retails for 35 36 along those lines we all know hourglass is an expensive brand that is usually their price range and yeah they have a lot of colors they definitely have over 10 colors and their color representation is a real problem because they all look like a plummy red shade it's so hard so i just went by their description so this was like a deep rose shade and i like rose shades and it's it's supposed to be a deep rose shade so i picked this color and hourglass usually doesn't do colorful or your traditional colors like red brown they don't do all those like bright colors they kind of like i wouldn't know because i just picked the one shade usually and yeah this is flora and yeah it has like a color like a tone like a color coded on the packaging itself and this lipstick is made in korea so um, they have some moisturizing ingredients i see mango seed oil avocado oil shea butter hydrogenated vegetable oil so it does have a little bit of fragrance actually all the moisturizing ingredients come after the fragrance uh so i would much rather the fragrance at the very very end we don't want that such a high concentration but the moisturizing ingredients are coming after uh, the fragrance so i think it's on a much lesser concentration so yep let's look at the beautiful cute packaging very very innovative i would say uh so this is the base because that's where the lipstick comes out so this is the base the base is not symmetric obviously um and it doesn't stand like this you don't want it to stand it's an expensive lipstick you don't want it to like fall and break so you're gonna have to like store it upside down which why work against gravity you know let the lips lipstick stay put where its base is right so there's there's that and i love this that's something that i didn't like much about it and then oh it's magnetic it doesn't look like that you can't close on any side you want you see how it's like it's not closing so you have to close it on the right side and then when you put it in the right side it clicks by itself it's magnetic i like it uh and as you can see it's overall just a gold packaging and all the let me quickly tell you how much you get you get a whopping four grams of product in this lipstick that is all i would consider like a three gram my reference is a mac lipstick a full size MAC lipstick is 3 grams. So 3 grams is kind of like a cream, full size cream uh, lipstick. 
I would say, and this is a four, you, you get four grams. I believe also Pat McGrath, you get three or four grams, I think, if I'm not wrong. You do get a lot in Pat McGrath's lipsticks as well. So, yep, that is it. So this is the product, and it's just a regular twisted up. Uh, you just twist it up, and that is that shade that's a deep rose color. Let me get rid of this gloss on my lips. The one I have on is actually Tower 28 Beauty's Lip Jelly Dream. It came, it's it's a limited edition shade. It's a rose gold shade. It came out for this holiday season. So that is that. Let me quickly swatch that for you. It's actually pretty pigmented, I have to say. It glides on beautifully and it's quite pigmented. It's completely opaque. You don't, it kind of doesn't look opaque because of that uh, shine. So in that angle, the where the shine uh, kind of is where you see is actually completely pigmented. It's a very opaque color. It goes on really, really well. The tip is actually not pointed. It's kind of like a, you see how it's like, it's it's flat on top. So it reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick. Exact, actually it's the exact same shape. So let's do that. It's a beautiful nude on me, actually. So that is it. It's pretty pigmented, I would say. I actually had this on when I was playing around with this lipstick. I had this on um, and actually went on a, for a quick run and I drank a considerable amount of water. And then I got back from the workout I mean, it's it's quite moisturizing now. The moisturizing part kind of left my lips because I took a lot of sips, not sip, like really, I was downing water. But um, the pigmentation was there. Actually, it was as pigmented as this, even after drinking, I would say a liter of water. It was, uh, the, the pigmentation didn't leave the lips, but the moisturization kind of left the lips and yes and it didn't smear or anything like that the lipstick stayed put i was actually quite impressed and i love how it like beautifully glides i personally would like the lipstick to be a little bit denser a little bit heavier so it kind of like nourishes the lips but this is not a very heavy lipstick it's actually extremely lightweight you don't even feel it on the lips it's quite good to be honest it's a nice lipstick. Now, I would say it's not a very nourishing formula. It's not incredibly nourishing or anything like that because at the end of the workout, my lips actually kind of still stayed dry. When I put it on, it, st it was actually dry. There was a lot of dry skin sticking onto the lips, but it did not accentuate any dry skin at all, to be honest. It, didn't it actually looked very moisturizing and very like uh supple the lips look very supple even though i had my lips were clearly dry uh there were like lots like up close i could see like so many dry skin sticking like basically like it was bugging me but still that's that's always the case for me so when i put it on i had dry lips when i took it off i still had dry lips so that i would say is not very nourishing yes i drank water i worked out but still uh, I've used other lipsticks where and glosses where it like really really nourishes the lips and keeps it very soft and very very supple. It looked supple but it didn't like really nourish from within or anything like that. So I liked it. So uh oh by the way I was I was about to say o oh, and then I say a and that was a weird sound out of my mouth. But this color itself, it's not a very dark color. It's not a very vibrant color as well, but this does stain. At the end of like a three or four hour duration, when I took it off, there was a little bit of staining in the lower lip. My upper lip is actually pretty dark. So you don't really see a lot of intense staining, but the lower lip was actually stained. So yeah, that's kind of like a review, a gist of my experience of the product. Overall, it's a good product, I would say, but will I go out and buy other colors? No, not really, to be honest. Um, so yeah, but I don't see myself like uh, disliking the product or anything like that. It's good. 
it's good to be honest great packaging it's good um but it's not like i would say i wouldn't say it's like the most nourishing lipstick out there but yeah it's pretty good oh i forgot to tell at the bottom there's actually it's actually engraved in it there's it's not a sticker this h with the bunny it's not exactly a sticker it's actually engraved that you see my finger actually my nail actually going in all the way it's actually engraved it's pretty cool that's a really good detail so yeah there's that so yeah we're coming to the end of this video what do you guys think um are you planning to get this lipstick is it too expensive for you do you think hourglass is like too expensive for for what it is especially for lipsticks facial products complexion i, I understand but lipstick is a little bit unexpensive so i decide i do feel that so yep yeah, i will see you guys very soon bye-bye